Hello guys, Natu Ace here and this is part 2 of the Yakuza and Sakura Wars English dub situation. So in my previous video, I gave my thoughts about how Yakuza 7, Like a Dragon, actually is going to have English dub. And again, listening to the fans because, well, the series has been out and people keep asking about it. And so Yakuza 7, going to have English dub. Tank, he even has, oh my, George Takei. So with that, is the opposite. So, of course, one of the famous IP series from Sega, but only stuck in Japan, are the Sakura Wars franchise. So for people who don't know what this is, it's a visual novel slash strategy game. Yes, the older games were kind of like Final Fantasy tactics. So it's grid around attack you know like advanced war super robo war so that's what sakura wars is very famous it was in the sega saturn and then sega dreamcast and then the fifth one because by the time they became a third party company it went to the ps2 but also was ported to the wii however the catch is it was ported by nice america but that's a different story there so Here's the deal. Sakura 1 to 4 never came out outside of Japan because at the time it was so anime ish because the this character design was the same person who did Oh My God. It. So you kind of see it there. Kind of like Akira Toriyama with Dragon Quest. Video game characters, they're not anime characters. You just, they're licensing issues. But they never came out outside of Japan. The fifth one did, but only the main game was only for the PlayStation 2 in Japan and then later on was actually on B, I I think also in Japan but it was ported by Yes America they did the English dub so that game actually had English dub so props to them for that one and yeah I mean they still had all the features from the PS2 which you know the Wii and there you go I mean the spin-off unfortunately never came out because again like I said <sighs> The thing is that Sega at the time didn't really believe in the product that it wouldn't sell outside because a bunch of women, I know, political a bit apologies, but you get the idea and people are probably not going to buy it. I mean, whatever, kind of stupid in my opinion, but it is what it is. And there you go. And then after Sakura 5, they were gone. Like the Sakura franchise were gone until like they talk about it before in their Sega Fest when they're bringing back Sakura Wars, and then when they show the game, it's something brand new, 3D. And the new artist that for the character is the Kubo, the same person who did Bleach. Yeah, there's also going to be an anime coming in the long run, and franchise, so... Again, whatever, it is what it is there. But, when the game finally came out outside of Japan, and it wasn't even World War release, it came like... Five months later, it was on April. There were a bit of controversy again, and it's all about yes, dual language. So backstory, I'm guessing why this happened. But I'm gonna give credit to Dual Shockers for a part that they interview the localization producer about the situation, why they decide not to dub it. Again, who makes the final decision? It was. Sega of Japan, and I'm probably gonna explain and give my theory of why that happened. So, first of all, credit to Dual Shocker, Yani Agosha. Sakura Wars on PS4 ended up not receiving English stuff for its localization. Could you tell us more on the reason behind this decision? Andrew Davis, localization producer. For every title we bring out in the West, we have to assess beforehand what scope will be possible for a business standpoint. Obviously, if it's a well-established series, we can be more confident that sales will just pay a larger location budget. But in the case of Sakura Wars, we were starting with the barest foothold in the web, since we had to make sure every dollar counted we considered our option carefully and determined that the best use of our research would be to expand our text language options and forego English voice for this game because of this 
we were able to offer text alongside English and Spanish, French, and German. As the series grows its fan base, the possibility broadens as well. It took a while for the Yakuza series to really find its audience in the West, but with the success we've seen in the past few years, we were able to start producing English voice for recent games from the team like Fist of the North Star, Lost in Paradise, and Judgment. I would certainly love to see a similar art for Sakura Wars. In hindsight, my opinion about it, Andrew Davis, screw you! Alright. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, the gist of that one basically is, like I said, it wasn't yet established, starting, which I said, Sakura War 5 was the first one ever to have a game come out of Japan. So, and then that one was published by Miss America, so they did put English stuff. Yes, and of course, the lack of the content of English that's also the same in Japanese. I'll actually explain that later, but he's basically saying the reason why this happened is Sega of Japan gave the localization budget a bare bone. It's barely just bare bone, so with that, they'd rather just do one, a collector's edition, and two, Oh, you know what? It's better just to do text from other language. I mean, wow. I mean, dang, dude. Wow. I mean, do I believe him? To some extent, no. No, I don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's like, oh, because they need a foothold just in their series. The reason why he did it because at the time Sega didn't want to bring the game out because there were a bunch of women and that was one of the rumor that they were thinking, well, it's not going to sell for market reason. And then I like the point he said, for every dollar counted. You know who said the same thing about that? Ben Herman, when he used to work for SK. Guess what? He said that when he was considering localizing Twilight Star La Petite, the sequel to the original one. And they end up not to because it was too girly, so it wasn't marketable to a point they said, hey, guess what? Uh, well, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I just decided not to localize the game. I mean, oh my gosh. And probably also the English dub because they were forced to do English dub and they probably didn't want to. Oh, shh. Well, oh, I, I, it's irked me when they always say something like that. The, the bottom line they're saying is, look. It, they didn't have enough budget to do a localization, so they have to be selective about it. So instead of having an English dub, they rather have, well, multi text I can understand, but they rather have a collector's edition instead. And they compare it to the Yakuza series. Okay, I mean, I can understand, but here's the thing people knew who followed the Yakuza series. The first two games were shit from the get go. To a point that guess what they went to a negative and that's the reason why the future game are only sub because Sega bitched to Sony and then when it came to Yakuza 3 they were being cheapskate because again they didn't have the confidence that the Yakuza series at a time was gonna sell outside of Japan that's why it was gutted and when they finally did it with Yakuza 4 they went all out except for the English dub, it was already too late because the way they market the game, the way they approach the game was they're telling the fans that they don't give a shit about the Yakuza series. You know, hey, you know, whatever, we'll bring it out to a point that after 4, which they actually they did sell, the game actually sold well, but not to their expectation. To a point they said, hey, guess what? Oh, you know what? We're not going to support this outside of Japan, and I like Sengaku Basara. So, if it wasn't for Sony stepping in and funding the localization for Yakuza 5 for the PS3 and Yakuza 0 for the PS4, yeah, I mean, the, I hate to say it, I know people are going to get pissed about it, but I think personal, the franchise was going to be dead in outside of Japan. With watching for Sony. Uh, 
yeah, that's the only reason to some extent why the Yakuza series got popular. And a lot of these people they don't mention that, but they only mention. Remember, like I said before in another video, they want to call, control the narrative. The they want to control what they see, and that's why they're kind of missing some key point there. The Yakuza series was going to be dead in outside of Japan after four, but. Thanks to Sony convincing Sega, hey, you know, there is some proof to this. I mean, the, the bottom line is, is that Sega themselves, they don't give a shit. Unless someone helps them, like I said, Microsoft with Fantasy Star 2, PlayStation with Shimune 3 and Yakuza, that's why Shimune 3 is a PS4 exclusive. Yeah, I mean, that's what Sega is. I mean, are they making a lot of money? I don't know, but... Oh my gosh, yeah, I mean, do I agree with Andrew Davis? No, I mean, no, no I don't, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, first of all, kind of bullshit for the budget, because it shows Sega that they don't give a shit about their audience outside of Japan. Hey, at least the game is out, you know, sorry, there's no English dub, better than nothing, Island number 9, I mean, Tecmo Koei did the same thing, they've been doing that crap. Amco Bandai were doing it, but lately they are trying to turn it around, but I don't know for how long, because again, it's like, like I said before and I said it again about Falcon with East 9. The game came out like fall of 2019, and outside of Japan, people have to wait until 2021, you know, just for me, it's not a problem, backlog, but it kind of shows that the company always, and again, makes sense to some extent, I know, but I don't agree with it, Focus on Japan first, only Japan, and after a while they said, okay, fine, we'll bring it out, but they're gonna say, you know, we're not gonna put a lot of money. So, the bottom line is why I don't like this, what Andrew Howe said, is what Sega technically did. They just didn't put them a lot of budget, so they were very, very scarce. They're trying to tactically figure out what's the best way to use the fund for every dollar counted, and they just said, well, you know what? Instead of English voice, we're gonna have decks and we're gonna have a collectors. Shit. <laughs> and this is the same deal, and I'm sorry, Idea Factor, I like your company, but when it comes to Aqua Diacomis, you guys are shit, man! Shit! Shit! They did the same thing, uh, like I said, uh, the gist of it is, they were gonna consider Aqua Diacomis to have English dub. But they retracted it, even when it comes to the physical release. Again, I don't really care because I have a hard drive. I mean, you, have, you want to invest a hard drive for those next-gen console. Just saying that. But that's beside the point is, yeah, uh, they didn't want to make it a physical release. They didn't want to put English dub because, again, they probably think it's not going to sell. Which, well, the truth is, it didn't really sell. The game was on sale for eight bucks for a reason. Okay, the reason for that one is game bomb in Japan. First came out in February of 2019 in the PS4. It was, and then when it came to the Switch, it was the same thing because we just port the PS4 version to the Switch. So one of the characters is still censored, but whatever there. So that's also the thing what happened here also. Uh, believe it or not, I think one of the factors, and I said why this game didn't have English dub, is that believe it or not, in Japan, when the first game out in December of 2019, the game bombed. Yes. Instead of being a strategy game, it was a hacker slash dinosaur warrior. I like dinosaur warrior to some extent, but lately their games were like, <laughs> and yeah, that's probably one of the factors why they didn't put a lot of budget in. Because they're probably gonna say, well, it's not gonna sell. No. Again, because just because it doesn't sell in Japan, it doesn't mean it's not going to sell outside. That's not always the belief. But the problem is, most Japanese developers, they think that's the belief. The Japanese company. But that's not always the case. Punch Out sold better in the West than Japan. Sonic sold better in the West than Japan. Resident Evil's franchise, believe it or not, sold more in the West than in Japan. When, what does it tell you? Sometimes even Japanese games are more popular outside of Japan. Heck, Idea Factory, believe it or not, are more popular. The fan, there are more fans that are not from Japan. 
Japanese fans, again, they review bombing games because the games were not good versus fans outside. I mean, again, uh, a lot of these Japanese companies only focus in Japan and what Japan thinks, they think also outside. No, that's not the case. That's idiocy. Oh, yeah. And, and also, examining that one, it's apparently also, but it's also in Japan, the lack of voice content, even so, apparently only in certain area. It's a visual novel, they probably didn't have enough money to voice everything. Uh, and I gotta give credit to Ayani Agoshai, the guy also mentioned about, well, will you actually have an enhanced version or a DLC adding full voice acting? DLC, there you go, like I said. A paid English dub DLC. Oh, and then of course Tetsuya Otsubo responded by saying, "We heard similar requests on our end as well. Currently, we don't have any specific plan for this kind of addition, but we are giving this idea some consideration." I.e., nope, no, we're not. Uh, yeah, we hear you, but nope, nope, because this paid English dub DLC with Tecmo Koei. We, that's been saying since the PS3 360 times with Wario Rochi 3 and they're like, oh yeah, we heard you, we heard you. No, you're not. You hear it, but then it's like noisy. It's like, what's that noise? Huh? Man, what is that noise? Man, it's so noisy. Uh, oh, it's just noisy. In other words, they're not going to listen when you say something like that. I mean, even so they're not listen, you got to get in their face, let your voice heard, and sooner or later they might change their mind. There's a possibility because again, my Hero 1 Justice 2, yeah, people start complaining. Oh, the lack of English dub, why can't you do it? I'm just cheapskate, blah, blah, blah. And Narco Bandai said, you know what? My Hero Academia franchise is so popular. Fine, we'll do it on the second game. There you go. Again, there's a lot of backstory about it. Like I said, the theory about that one, it could be something to do with animation. And there's another theory with this one. And if you don't know the animated series, sadly to say, Shit! Funimation got the rights for the animated series for Sakura Wars 2020. So again, it goes back to the theory of the Funimation thing. Could be that other reason? I don't know. I really don't know, but like I said, it's bullshit. But uh, yeah, so something good from Yakuza 7, something bad to Sakura Wars 2020. Yeah. Andrew Davis, screw you, screw you. Hopefully, in the long run, they'll provide a pay Insta DLC, but I doubt. I mean, the game bombed in Japan. Ugh, I don't know. So yeah, that's my thoughts about Sakura War 2020. Not having an English dub, yeah, it sucks. Uh, with that, I'll see you guys later.